So these are tactile momentary push button switches. As you can see, these are a kind of switch that can fit in a breadboard. But uh, the pins are a little bit bigger than the leads of uh, like uh, electronic components and jumper cables such as these. So when I insert them in the breadboard, I leave them in the same spot for a while. So from this angle, you can see they have a couple jagged legs there, which if you center it on the breadboard, goes out two holes in either direction. And then I put these two jumpers on here for spacing. I can use either a blue jumper or an orange jumper if I want to connect this pin to this pin, or if I want to connect this pin down to that pin there. So that's where I want to insert this switch so that I can easily connect it to that switch. And then finally, we just put our finger on the switch we're going to insert and push it in. Now we want to make sure it doesn't shift in either direction. There it finally snapped down. So as I said, it's not, it's a little bit bigger, the pins, than other uh, components and jumpers so it does struggle a little bit but finally it will go in so now it's probably gonna uh, space out that hole a little bit and make it a little tougher for for jumpers and components to make a connection in the holes that we put them in there so that's why I'm gonna leave them there for uh, until I got a different use for them there's a couple of things to be aware of when using one of these switches so in this case with this switch this top part of the switch, this is the top of the board, so I'm going to call this the top of the switch. This is always connected. So is the bottom. That's always connected to each other. So even though I'm not pushing the button, we have conduction coming through the two top pins. There's one top pin. There's the other one connected to the resistor. And then so current's flowing through the resistor, through the switch, through the LED to this blank row. The switches aren't connected in the middle to anything and then that's heading to ground so we have conduction there so as you can see here I shuffled this down to this one again you can see it's just conducting we have the positive and the negative connected and uh, directly across from each other and it conducts so it doesn't matter if you push the button or not it just conducts but now when I have the LED on the farther pin there and then the resistor on the positive side to the closer pin there so that they're separated in that direction now if I push the switch now you see that the LED comes on so right now it's a normally open switch it's open right now so the LED is off when I push the button to close the switch to close the circuit then the LED turns on and that's how this switch works now of course we can put the path from positive on the same side as the path to negative with the switch that doesn't matter just so long as uh, we have them separated from uh, down here to up there that's the main thing so as you can see it works just the same as the last example I showed you so to wrap this up I think all of my push button switches that look like this operate in the same way. I got some different kits so maybe there's one that works differently but uh, this is usually what I see the normally open uh, push button tactile switch and so if it was normally closed then I don't have the power applied now but uh, then if the power is applied the LED will stay on with this setup until you push the button then it will turn off. So that's with a normally closed switch. It's normally closed so that the circuit is closed so that it will operate. And then when you push the button that opens it to turn it off. Which is the opposite of this one. But as far as I know, these generally come just like what I showed you.